Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Mike Gutek, Director of Major Projects for the City of Saskatoon. This afternoon, I wanted to provide an overview of the steps we're taking to build better roads and ensure that the season's patching, resurfacing, and paving lasts over the longer term. Uh, with the road construction season now underway, it's important for people to know that we're not just building better roads. The new funding allows for rehabilitation treatments so the roads can last longer. Uh, Saskatoon's most aggressive program of road construction, maintenance, and rehabilitation ever is now underway with over 50 million targeted to projects ranging from major road work to residential streets and sidewalks. Almost half, or 23.4 million, of this budget is dedicated to improving our road network. That's an increase in funding of 79% dedicated to roadway preservation compared to 13 million in 2013. That's allowing us to do treatments to 178 lane kilometers versus 78 lane kilometers last year. Uh, that's about the same distances from Saskatoon to Kindersley. Uh, taking a proactive, pro preventative maintenance approach is the first in a series of steps we're taking to improve roads this year and for years to come. Measuring the time a road will be used from the beginning to the end of its life is known as its life cycle. And that uh, helps us determine the type and frequency of preservation treatments the roadway will require to maximize its life. Treating roadways during their life cycle is key. Uh, intervention at intervals before the roads fail uh, will mean better roads in better condition for a longer period of time. The second step we're taking involves uh, some design features like thicker drainage layers to protect our roads from excessive moisture or damage in the subgrade materials. The final step involves the development of a new roadway preservation funding plan which we intend to introduce later this year. The plan will take a longer term uh, view of our roads and outline an approach to addressing issues earlier in their life cycles. It will also highlight the latest preservation techniques and treatments that are the most time and cost effective. Uh, with a properly funded rehabilitation program, we can move past temporary fixes and get to the root of the problem. So these three steps, intervention, smart design and long range planning, will make a difference today and tomorrow. So for an overview of the road construction techniques and treatments we're using this season, go to saskatoon.ca and click on Building Better Roads. Under Saskatoon's road plan, you'll find this information in addition to other schedules and updates also featured on the website. website. So with that, I'm happy to take your questions. Thank you. So um, why are you, uh, why are we doing this now? Is there more money somewhere or what's the... 